I feel very, very privileged to be here. Senator Kirsten Gillibrand brought her American Opportunity Agenda to Ithaca College on Monday. Uh, more and more families tell me about the same sense of struggle, the same difficulty working parents have to make ends meet and to juggle all the responsibilities. Gillibrand spoke in Emerson Suites about her plan to create paid family medical leave for all Americans. Gillibrand says the money would come from an independent trust fund that would be built inside the Social Security Administration. And every worker pays in a little bit every week towards that need when they need it, and their employer does the same. The senator also called for the federal minimum wage to be raised to $10.10 an hour. If you have two kids at home and you are earning the minimum wage, you are $3,000 below the poverty line. Mayor Savante Myrick says he was happy to see Gillibrand pushing for a minimum wage change at the federal level. You will often find a race to the bottom where states keep their minimum wage lower than their neighbors because they don't want to see businesses jump across borderlines. If you raise it at the federal level, you'd prevent that kind of downward competition. Tompkins County legislator Jim Dennis, who was also there, says raising the minimum wage comes at a price. When uh, you talk about minimum wage, that money has to come from somewhere. So your $5 uh, subway sub is not going to be 5 anymore, it's going to be 6 but I understand that. Women played a central role in much of Gillibrand's speech. Today, women make 70 cents on the dollar compared to men, something Gillibrand says she wants to change. How about equal pay for equal work? <laughs> something really obvious. Um, of course, we were pleased that she chose Ithaca College, and it had been since 1978 that we had a senator, uh, sitting senator on our campus. Gillibrand says her plans also include providing affordable child care and establishing universal pre-K. In Everson Suites at Ithaca College, I'm Stephen Adams, The Ithacan, online.